Hey guys, <laughs> I just got home from work. And so here's the situation with my hummingbirds. Uh, I don't know if hummingbirds can talk to each other and they're like, hey, y'all come out to this ranch over here because this wackadoodle lady, she's gonna feed us no matter what. <laughs> so I have four hummingbird feeders and they are, oh, I just got to show you. They are, um, always i fill them twice a day but i want to show you something real quick so hold on okay, i pulled in the feeders so that i could refill them up do you see all the hummingbirds because oh where's my hummingbirds oh man i got them now let me tell you what i got them they're everywhere okay so here's the situation is that my husband told me well patty you have four hummingbird feeders out there and last year you had eight I'm like, really and he's like yeah so I've been literally filling them up twice a day. In the morning before I go to work, I come home and they're all empty and then I fill them up again at night. So, I went to the hardware store. Let me show you. <laughs> Can you see them? Yeah. I got eight hummingbird feeders now. I went and got four more. And I'm going to fill them all up. And this is my daily routine is filling up eight, well, four, but now I'm going to fill up eight. And hopefully, I only have to do this once a day. But I kind of feel like we have these two big trees outside, and I see them go into those trees. And I think that they are just literally nesting in there and they are breeding and making more baby hummingbirds and they're just yeah they're just multiplying or something so i don't know that buying more hummingbird feeders was the solution to this problem because uh i think what it's gonna do is it's just gonna be more birds are gonna come i don't know what do you guys think um should I just stick to the four? And, you know, I feel like, should I just stick to the four and they get their their water, their sugar water, just once a day and that's it? And when they run out, they run out? Should I do that or should I actually um, keep filling them up for them every day, you know, twice a day? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is getting people at the Save More grocery store love me. Cause I'm buying sugar like crazy so I don't know I don't know if I'm doing the right thing or not by getting more feeders I mean I totally enjoy watching all these guys they're just so cute and then now we're starting to get the blackbirds and the swa not the swallows I don't I don't like the swallows but we haven't got those um, we have a couple pairs of doves out there and I can't remember what the other kind of bird is, is that my husband said was the other one. But, um, and then I was thinking, well, I got to get them some feed too. Some, um, you know, like bird seed. It's like, man, I tried to make a bird sanctuary around here. <laughs> then I wanted to get them a, a bird bath because when I turn on the sprinklers, they love the sprinklers the blackbirds do and then they sit, sit out there and soak in the you know and they wash themselves and whatnot so anyways so after i get these all filled up i'll take you outside to see them i don't know if i'm boring you guys with showing you my hummingbirds all the time because i'm always showing you my hummingbirds but um they are a pretty cool bird, you know, but they're a little intense this year. So, all right, as soon as I finish filling all these babies up, I'll take you outside. I'm gonna put all the feeders out and um, then I'll take you out to take a peek. Oh my goodness, that's not good. Didn't get that on there. Ah, now I emptied. And I tell you high tech job here folks <laughs> I don't like birds in cages necessarily because I don't want them in my house making a mess and I don't think it's natural you know for birds to be in cages I mean I know some are loved and they're happy but I just like 
um, feeding the wild birds, you know. But I'm not one to have a bird in a cage. My brother does. He has beautiful birds um, in cages, but I just don't, I don't have the patience for it. He's, oh, I got a ladybug in here. He is watering and cleaning and feeding. He's in the cages all the time, but that's not my cup of tea. But I love to go watch his birds because he has the Lari parrot birds. They're so colorful. They're so beautiful. So, all right, I gotta go mix some more water and sugar. I like to do that with you guys here. So, I just got off of work, um, and <clears throat> our graduations for the county start tomorrow, and we sell balloon bouquets. Let me tell you, it's the craziest three days of the year is when we sell the balloon bouquets. Like, everybody in the county is coming in for balloons. And I'm always so tuckered out by the time I'm done. So I know I'm going to be one tired puppy by Saturday. <laughs> so so I put three cups of sugar. I showed you guys this before, but some of you are new to my channel. Or maybe you missed that episode. So three cups of sugar and just warm water to dilute the sugar. And I used to boil it on the stove and... My husband had said that you didn't really need to do that long as it dissolves. So that's what I've been doing and it's way easier. And they like it, obviously. They're not turning it down. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to finish filling up these feeders and then I'll take them outside and put them on the hooks and then I'll take you guys out there to see them, okay? Okay. Right, bye -bye. I'll show you where I put all the hummingbird feeders in. Hopefully this will slow down my having to fill them up so much. But since we're right here, I'll just show you my mint is going crazy. The basil's doing well. Oregano and thyme. I don't know if it's supposed to look that color or not, but then I got these little, aren't they cute? The little mushrooms, like for the gnome fairies or whatever. But okay, here we go. And they know when I've got the camera and they seem to disappear, but you see them in the house when I show you. But so this one's always been here and that one's up there. I had a hook for right there, but um, I have the wrong kind of hook to hang it up there. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll get a different kind, I guess. So then I put three on this feeder. And then I had this shepherd hook all the way on the other side of the house. So I just brought it over here and I have three on that one. So that's three, six, and then the two that are there is eight. So that's what we got going on. And hopefully they will not have to be loaded up twice a day. But I might just create more of a monster with them coming around. Kelly, say hello to everybody. Kelly. Kelly. Yeah, she's trying to ignore me. Her food's out there. She's one of those that got dumped off here that I kind of adopted. So she hasn't let me pet her yet, but this I can get pretty close to her now. And she loves all, you know, she loves my two indoor cats. So indoor, outdoor cats. So, all right, you guys have a good evening. Just thought I'd give you an update on those crazy hummingbirds of mine. You know, I wanted them, so I got them, right? <laughs> All right, everybody have a good evening. Take care, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.